So this morning we've got the uh, uh, some that I combined last night was a bit high moisture, it's 16 rather than 15, so I'm drying it. So I've got the full drying plant working now. Uh, it's a bit noisy in here, but uh, we'll see how we go. So we've got the, the tractor and trailer in here tipping into the pit. Uh, the cleaner is, the pre-cleaner is working. You have to keep that full up. So this is running, this elevator is running slightly faster than it's going through the pre-cleaner, which is why it's coming out there. That's the overflow. So that is full. It then runs up that elevator and into the top of the dryer where it's coming slowly down. Now, this is the noisy bit. So you've got a giant fan drawing air through and then this flame heating the air to dry the wheat. It's really old, but it works just fine. Got a better, better touch wood there. You've got a lot of compressor blowing air in through and atomizing the fuel and heating the air up. So it then works its way down the dryer slowly to there, that's the hot section. Then it comes through here and it draws in air through here to cool the grain. And then it comes out the bottom here. And it's dropped into this elevator, which takes it up along, along the conveyor belt. Dropped on the heap of wheat up there, dry, or hopefully dry anyway. So, like I say, it's quite an old system. We've had it 30 years, and that dryer was old when we. I bet that dryer is older than me. Yeah, I reckon it is, or about as old as I am. So that's over 50 years old, but it works fine. I don't need to dry the whole crop, just odd ones in the morning or late at night, and that's good enough. That's probably running through, because I'm not taking a lot out, at about 10 tonnes an hour. Obviously the combine will run at 30 tonnes an hour, so it wouldn't take long to get a major backup of um, wheat. But if you're only doing a little bit before and after, that's fine. Um, I didn't say about this, but it's the same principle as that one. This, this pipe here runs from the top of the dryer, because the dryer has to be kept full. So again, that's an overflow. So you have this, that elevator running slightly faster than that is taking it, and that running slightly faster than this takes it. And then the overflows feed back into the pit and go round again. I'm sure new ones are a lot fancier than that, but there we are. That's what we've got. And it works okay. Looks like we might be combining later as well. There wasn't any rain and the sun's trying to come out. So, that'd be, uh, that'd be a bonus. Oh, and if, um, yeah, sorry, I'll explain that as well. If it doesn't need drying, then there's a swap over valve up there where you, you flip it and instead of going through, the, so it goes through the cleaner, but instead of going through the dryer, it just drops straight down up that pipe and out along the conveyor belt. So you can bypass uh, the dryer completely. Which the last few years I have, because it's been dry. Uh, but this year, it's a little bit more, um, the weather
weather is a little bit more, I mean it's not bad but it's just not boiling on like it has been the last few years.